Danny Flexen here for seconds out. My old friend Dominic Ingle saying some terrible stuff off camera that we won't repeat now. Dom, you're here in the capacity as Eve Nagabu's trainer as he goes into European title defence. Is it title defence yeah. against Lawrence Akoli? What do you make of that fight, first of all? Yeah, it's a good fight. You know, he's 30 odd years old. Uh, he's had 20 fights. Akoli's had 10. He's a new kid on the block coming through. I've watched a bit of a call. Eh? Um, he's doing all right. It's a big step up for him, and it's a it's a, a step forward for our guy if he wins. He's into the mix of the big uh, cruiserweight mix on the world scene. So it'll be an interesting fight. You know, it's in London. But to be honest, uh, it doesn't matter where he fights. He's he's well accomplished as a fighter. He's tough. Um, training for one fight. Uh, very dedicated, committed, strong. Doesn't mind having a fight. Listens well. So it should be an interesting an interesting night. He's from Belgium. He's not a typical Ingle style fighter. How did you guys end up together? Um, you know, a lot of people say that over the years. I remember years ago, uh, you know, if you look at the fighters we've got now coming to the gym, like who've come from different places like Billy Joe Saunders, Willie Hutchinson, Eve. I think back in the day, people thought we were going to try and teach everybody to fight like Naz, but you know, it was never that way. We develop the fighter's style. Whatever they bring, you know, we develop what we've got. We don't try to change them into a particular way, we just try and embellish what they've got. So I think he was a big fan of Billy Joe Saunders, a big fan of Kel Brook and he used to watch their stuff and then that's how he found his way over to Sheffield. And then he turned up and they'd both gone. <laughs> well they did but no they were there for a while but you know he, he sparred with both of them I mean he sparred he sparred Billy Joe Saunders the other day opened some open sparring and it was a, you know to watch that he's a cruiserweight obviously Billy's a bit heavier than a super middleweight but you know you want to see that for a spar but you know perfect so that's why he found his way over and you know he's 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 done much of the stuff on himself. He's, he's, he's trained himself for a lot of fights. I think he basically became European champion by training himself. So he's got dedication. Now it's just knocking the rough edges off him and you know honing him in uh, to go further on. Do you think they've underestimated him a bit? It's like third or fourth fight down the card, brought in. Do they see it as an easy title, perhaps, for a Coley to win? No, I don't think it is. I think, you know, if I were looking at a Coley, I remember watching that fight when they put a Coley in with uh, Chamberlain. And for me, I think maybe they both had about eight fights at the time. And I think looking at them both, um, the good fighters, but they kind of nullified each other's style. And I, I did think, why is Eddie doing that fight so early on? And basically, you know, you, it's to see what they've got. And I think with the Corley, he's, he's done the amateur thing. He's, he was, you know, very good amateur. And I think you can't really waste time with him. You've got to sling him into the fights. And, and it's a sink or swim situation. So I don't think they've underestimated Eve. I think with Eddie, he's thinking, well, if that, this guy can fight, there's no point in wasting time on him. You know, sling him in the fights. If he comes through, he comes through. And, you know, same with Eve, he's 30. He, you know, he can't really make a mistake. A call is a bit younger, he'll have time to come again. But I think with Eddie, he's just not wasting time with fighters. It's a sink or swim situation.